Howdy, y'all. We got the Bulldog on the channel. We're sitting in a high Sierra. Felt it when we come in, it's got warped brake rotors on one end or the other. What we got got the back end jacked up, put it on the jack stands. And it's in drive right now. speed on it and then we're going to touch the brakes and see if it's in the back of the front. It's in the back. That's how we check for warped rotors when we can. Get up in the air sometimes on the left this one we can just jack up the back end and we just run it power brake it uh, and if it's on the drive wheels those are the only ones that are spinning so if it's warped and shaking the vehicle then well that's where the problem is let me see if I can get down when I said it was a high Sierra it's a high Sierra That's a long way down. Ricola! <clears throat> Lifted trucks look cool. But honestly, I don't like them. I mean, that darn running board is above my knee. But what we do, pick it up, put it on stands so that it can't get away and just run it. The all-wheel drives are the ones that are the worst. You got to have it on a lift and spin all four of them at the same time. But that's how we find wheel bearings, warped brakes, and the like. Uh, this customer's been in for a while. Uh, been coming here, I don't know, <coughs> four years, I think. Five years. Uh, when he came in with this truck, his first thing he wanted to do was take the lift off of it because he's shorter than I am. Uh, unfortunately, taking a lift off of a truck is not as easy as putting it on because parts have been cut off and discarded and, you know, it just, it, it must, most of the time it's a one-way trip. So he left it the way it was. But it's pretty obvious to me that this truck come from the north. Because we're looking at scale. Rust. These diesels. If you need a truck, you know, they may make a heck of a truck, but boy, it's a lot of a lot of money involved in them when they got popular it uh, it shocked a lot of people that were used to gas because the repair bill on a gas truck is as high as you think it might be it's nothing compared to a diesel you really got to use a diesel to make it pay but I just wanted to jump on here and show you, you know, how we check for warped rotors. Most of the time it's in the front end because that's where all your stopping power is. But on these Chevys, well, all of the heavy trucks actually, they started going to disc brakes in the rear. You see a disc brake there. And because the rear end catches all the road salt 
and everything, the caliper slides and everything tend to stick and you end up with a lot of stuck brakes. They wore out. They uh, get hot and warped like this one has. So a lot of times we end up doing everything to it. So just a just a quick little deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Use your little buttons down there. Share it around. And talk with y'all later.